Hey everyone, this is Steve here bringing you a video for the second week of the Challenge of the Elders in Destiny. This week a little bit has changed, modifiers changed. As you'll see the bonus for kills this week is on grenade kills. So definitely get your grenades out because you also have catapult which is going to increase the recharge rate of your grenades. The only downside is you do have the berserk modifier which will cause enemies not really to be affected by grenades so they kind of move all around. It's tough to get those kills but definitely go for Fire it. The defiled thirsts for your lives. So right off the bat the first boss we have is Psylocke the Defiled. Same as last week you're just going to face Taken Acolytes and Hive Wizards. Nothing at all has changed about this fight. The boss and the enemies have the same exact attacks. So just spam grenades because you do have the catapult modifier so they will recharge super fast. If your discipline's high they're going to recharge even faster. You should pretty much always have a grenade available when you need one. Whenever enemies spawn in they spawn in groups of three via uh, acolytes. So just use a super. I tether them here and I just toss a grenade to get a ton of points. Definitely easy to rack up points this week uh, because of those grenades. So, you know, like I said, just spam them if you got them. Um, the boss doesn't do anything new. It's the same thing that you faced last week. They are cabal strategist. Bow. For round two we have some Cabal with a recycled year one boss that has some new tactics. This boss used to just randomly change his shield after you did a set amount of damage to be either Arc, Solar, or Void. But this time he has flares with him, Scion flares, that are going to match the shield type that he has. So before you can do damage you have to kill the flare. There's only three of them. They don't respawn but if you see him uh, put on a Void shield you have to go find the Void flare before you can do any damage on the boss. You can't lower your shield any other way with void weapons, it, it just doesn't work. Um, you'll see a notifier on the left hand side that'll tell you what type of shield he has if you can't see it. And then all you have to do is just take out that flare and you can do as much damage to him as you can. For this round you're going to face phalanxes and scions as well as the flares and the boss. Nothing really difficult here, just take out the boss, use your grenades to rack up points and you shouldn't have any issues at all. A servant of Oryx hungers guide. For the third round we have Taken and we're going to face uh, goblins and hobgoblins as well as a Hydra type boss who does have a special attack where he can burn the ground around you and then cause a giant explosion. You'll see this coming because you'll have a red circle around you and then uh, you know an exploding bomb type thing above your head. It's super easy to avoid so you really don't have to worry about it. And the same thing as you know all taken enemies, they spawn in groups of three all together so you can just toss a grenade as soon as you see them coming in to get the grenade kills. Other than that, you're not really going to have any trouble with this one either. Um, to be honest, I, I thought last week would be easy, but this week is pretty simple and straightforward as well. Um, you just have to spam grenades. Bungie's done a great job of combining modifiers. Last week was small arms and precision kills. This week's catapult and grenade kills. Definitely uh, good on them. Hopefully that continues. But that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and have a great day.